Hello and welcome to the HiCut short clips. In this video I would like to introduce you to the improvements in the operation and the user interface of HiCut. For the first innovation I prepared a sketch in the sectional view. I want to rotate the short line in such a way that a slope is created. To do this I start the rotation and switch to preserve connected lines and adjust length. Next I select the line and jump with the middle mouse button to select the rotation point. After I've selected the point, the dynamic auxiliary line with angle display appears. With a right click you can change your reference for the angle and the context menu. This allows you to rotate a line to a specific point. Alternatively, a direct angle input is possible via the spacebar. The rotation is carried out immediately when the point is chosen. For many operations in HiCut, a processing plane is needed. Creating this can be quite complex in some cases. To support the user, there are now certain possibilities for creating a plane. With a click on a cylindrical or freeform surface, the direction can now be freely selected. The plane moves dynamically. Furthermore, the functions Tangent to surface with direction and perpendicular to screen plane are available in the context menu. With the next innovation we will break something familiar. In the 3D part structure grid lines were no longer available for some time. With Service Pack 2 you can reactivate this function in the ICN under the extended settings. Immediately lines are displayed that make it easy to recognize the levels of the part structure. Two small things have improved in connection with sheet metal parts. If several subparts of a sheet are selected and moved, the whole sheet is moved without the message appearing. The same applies if a sheet metal part is copied to the clipboard, for example via the context menu of the flange. It is then completely inserted at another position without a message. If the feature is deactivated, the selected bottom parts are copied or moved in both cases. The options for the DXF export dialog have also been simplified. This includes the option to create the blocks and also the option of the assignments and the layer definition distributed over several tabs. For a more detailed description and configuration of the options, I would like to refer to the documentation. That was it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and wish you lots of fun designing with HiCut.